Hello everybody, Gibbs and Mac here, and today I want to be talking about the I'm Not a Hipster update and why was it such a great update in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I did do this for the High Life and the business updates, so if you do want to go check those out, then go in the description and it'll all be in the description. You can go check it out. But in this video, I'll talk about the I'm Not a Hipster update and why was it such a great update in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, because I feel a lot of people do like this update. So the I'm Not a Hipster update came out on June 17th, 2014 as part of the 1.14 patch and it features a lot of hipster content, uh, hipster clothes, vintage clothes. So first off we have seven new vehicles. We have the Lampadaddy Pagal, we have the Vapid Blade, we have the Declass Rhapsody, we have the Volcar Warner, we have the Benefactor Glendale, we have the Benefactor Panto, and then finally, we have the Benefactor Dubsta 6x6. Now, all of these cars are either in sedans or compact, sports, classic, and they're actually pretty cool cars. Uh, now, none of these cars were really high-end. You know, there wasn't any supercars, there wasn't any sports cars, but all of these cars are pretty cool. Um, now, we did actually get seven cars, which is the most we've ever seen in an update. You know, the Lampadatti Big Gal, I love that car. I have one. It's pretty expensive. So, I love all of these cars. They're all pretty cool, but they weren't really, like, any sporty or... Uh, they were kind of more customizable cars, which is one of the more standout parts of this update, is, is the customization. All of these cars have customization. We also got two new weapons, which, in my opinion, weren't that good. And we got the Antique Calvary Dagger and the Vintage Pistol. In my opinion, these weapons were kind of novelty items and not really... Uh, something that you're going to use often in death matches or LTSs and stuff. So next we have clothing and clothing options in this update were amazing in my opinion. We got a lot of new t-shirts, a lot of new uh, suit jackets. We also got a few hats and stuff and they were all pretty cool. The masks in this update were pretty cool. They're all kind of these animal masks like the raccoon mask. We got new tattoos. We also got new hairstyles. Another thing about this update is that Rockstar never gave us any warning for this update. It was just kind of a update that came out uh nobody really ever knew that was coming out of course there was leaks but they never uh, announced it now this update did also uh make a few additions and fixes uh pure gold and brush gold paint colors have been added to the los santos customs uh now these do unlock after rank 100 so it does give you more of an incentive to go to rank 100 a pure black window tint has been added to Los Santos Customs. We also got a few new horns. We also got eight new individual player celebrations. And they also made tear gas do more damage. I want to know why you think this update was good. If you do like this update, I know it didn't really have any new supercars. It didn't add any new sports cars. But it was pretty unique. Uh, you got a pretty good cars. So we got, you know, the Pigal is one of my favorite cars in GTA V. Uh, the Volcar Warner is pretty cool. The Panto is so unique. I feel like this update was so cool because it was it was more of an inexpensive update. It wasn't, if you don't have the money, you can still have fun with this update. Of course, some of the cars were kind of expensive. I feel like that they could have been a bit cheaper, but the clothes, the weapons, all that weren't that expensive. And I feel like this update was pretty good. And let me know why you think this update was so good. Um, I really like it. I really like it. Of course, the 1.14 patched a bit of stuff, patched a few glitches that were going around. So let me know in the comments why you like this update. Because I feel like this is probably one of my favorite updates in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. I mean, it was right after the High Life. So let me know in the comments why you think this update was so good. Because, I mean, we did get seven vehicles. Uh, I feel like that was a big part. The weapons were okay. The clothes were pretty good. So let me know in the comments. Hope you all enjoy. Feedback is always appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.